Hi there, Maggie Mae here, and today I am in my very own home doing my very first beauty vlog. Disclaimer, I am not a beauty blogger. Um, I barely put makeup on. I'm super lazy when it comes to makeup, but I attended Evelina's beauty launch a few weeks back and I've gifted their entire line. So I thought it might be a fun thing to try doing the beauty vlog and um, seeing what little I know and applying it to this video. <laughs> so bear with me. A little bit about Evelina Beauty. They're completely Canadian, based out of Vancouver, and their name in Hebrew means life. So the whole premise of this brand is about acceptance of oneself and using makeup not to change the way you look, but just to make yourself feel good. Um, it's all about putting on the products you love, feeling good about yourself, and having that energy resonate. And this brand is also doing some really great things for the community. Every product that you buy, partial proceeds go to help women and children in need escape harmful situations. So there's plenty of reasons to try this brand, invest in it, if you like it, continue using it, talking to your friends about this. And this is another reason why I wanted to showcase it in my video today. It's taking me a while to find time to do this video, not to mention I got a fresh cut and color, so I wanted to showcase it in my first beauty vlog. So I've held on to this box for two weeks now and I have been super curious what's inside. I haven't looked at any posts, I haven't looked at anything on their website, so this is my, gonna be my first time looking at the full collection of Evelyn the Beauty. Let's get into it. Uh, they were giving out three different boxes based on skin tone. Um, there was a fair, a dark, and I selected the medium. I also don't have a proper setup, so please excuse me. I don't have a vanity table. I don't have proper lighting. So hopefully this does the brand justice. Okay. I think I might switch the camera view to first person just so you can get a better look at all the products and the manifest. Better ready? Hello beautiful, what a great welcome. Yes, I am filming this on my couch with <laughs> two lights. Need to end. Right. A little cover core get of all of the items in the box. A bit of an explanation why they love it, why you need to love it. Informative. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. Oh, that's a nice thing. And what a great little sentiment and a great little touch. You're already beautiful. And of course, all their hashtags. Gotta get the world out there. Ooh, and the products. Okay, what do we have? We have a benefit cream. It's like a foundation. Okay, okay, I think. This one looks like lipstick water-based highlighter. Great, don't know how to use that. We'll figure that out. This one is liquid eyeliner. Okay, I do use eyeliner now and then. Oh, oh, there's three in this eyeshadow stick trio and it's clever packaging. It just slides out like that. Dive into it a little bit more. Lip gloss, here we go, something I'm familiar with. And last but not least, this blending sponge. Oh good, good, a tool that I can use. <laughs> to start off with, I have nothing on my face. I woke up about an hour ago, I cleaned my face, I dried it, there's no moisturizer, there's no cream. I was hoping there'd be some kind of moisturizer to use. It is winter, so my skin is incredibly dry. I'm getting these like red splotchy bits, so let's see if any of this can help. I never watched the tutorial, I don't know where to start, but I'm gonna assume this is moisturizer. Let's give it a read. Lightweight and luxurious, Evelina's Dew Beauty Benefit Cream creates a dewy finish on the skin that lets your natural beauty shine through. This super hydrating formula, yes, has water as the main ingredient, plus peptides, antioxidants, and hydrolytic acid to make your skin feel firmer, replenished, and balanced. Everything about this sounds really interesting. It sounds like it would 
help me out. I also don't have a mirror outside my washroom, so I'm going to be using this little guy. Oh good, the glass just came out of the compact. Perfect, okay. <laughs> Back there to kind of put everything on so you can kind of see. I don't know if I need my sponge for this. Why not? This is my first time feeling a beauty sponge. I'm guessing the little pointy parts are to go into like the itty bitty bits and like the round stuff is for like the flat parts of your face. So let's use the flat part and put some of this cream onto it. This is medium. Okay. For the sounds of things, I'm probably gonna just wear it like I would a cream, like a face cream. Dry part first. Oh hey, this goes on really <laughs> easy. I know, I can see why people use this sponge. Yeah, look at that. Huh. In truth, whenever I need to put makeup on, it's usually a concealer or like a little spot treatment and I use the same brush. I have one brush. Sometimes the brush gets used for eyeshadow. Very rarely. I don't really wear eyeshadow. Oh crap. And please, don't let my makeup skills or lack thereof reflect on this brand. I don't even know if I'm using too much or too little, but hey, it's like, it feels moisturizing. I do look like I'm evened out a bit. I'm just gonna whole face it. Yeah, I'm gonna do the whole face. Probably brow area. Do I? Oh, okay. So even though I've got a few products in front of me here, there's gonna be more release from the brand. This is just what came out the first launch. And I already think it's quite impressive considering it's a local brand and you know, getting into the makeup industry is not easy. It's one of those things that has been built up and you know, people have their favorite, people have their cliques and stick with it. Or what I surmise based on what little I've seen. Look at that, I like that. I've got like, a little scar here, I might get in there with concealer and make it a little bit stronger, but hey, that's great. And this sponge thing, get out of town. It's so easy to apply with it. Look, oh, okay. Do we finish? Check and check. We like this cream. All right. Next, we'll check out the highlighter. Hmm, fun fact. Paraben free, cruelty free. It's got like the do not test on animal symbol here. Water based highlighter. I've never used highlighter. I know it's supposed to make parts of you like stand out and like extra shine. So based on that, I'm going to apply this. I'm gonna bring back my sponge tool here. So I've already used one side, I'm gonna use the pointy side now. This is a very pretty color. Oh, I'm gonna do a swatch. I've seen that. So, oh, it's nice and firm. See that, focus on that. It's metallic-y. I'm gonna just wash it on my hand there. Oh, it's very solid. It's very thick, tingles a little. Nice, okay. Seal that back up. I don't want to waste it, so I'm gonna use what I just did. And from what I saw online, people kind of use this like C area to highlight. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> I don't have any plans this evening. I've intentionally chosen this day to do this makeup tutorial. Is that right? Am I doing that right? Ooh, oh, I got something to my eyebrow, but hey, it's... Okay, the parts I didn't get on my eyebrow, like the cheeky parts, so shiny. Look at that. Do you, you see that? Shiny. Okay, good stuff. Good. Now for the other side and to make it symmetrical. Ugh. The magic of television, the other side is highlighted. We are sparkly. We can put a little bit more because we still have more on my hand here. It goes on really well it like it sticks it adheres i don't know if you can see but like i've got like little two c's inside of my face 
Oh, I think people also do it on their, their nose, like here. Do they have it here? I think I saw that. I don't know, for my own needs, I think I would probably be using the highlighter for like my eyes. Like above my eyes here. I mean, that's a nice color, right? But I also have eyeshadow, so I don't want to put too much on. Okay, maybe a little bit on the tip of the nose. Look a little cute there. There we go. Oh my god, <laughs> it shines. Okay, enough highlighter, enough highlighter. We're gonna move on. Next, we have Shimmer Eye Shadow Stick. Trio. Three colors in this one little packaging. Oh, it actually tells you how to use it. Use as an eyeliner by applying color to your lash line or as a shadow and swipe onto the lids and blend well with brush or fingers. Can be worn alone or under or over powder eyeshadow. Interesting. Okay, we've got three shimmer eyeshadow sticks. Let's use all three. We'll do another swatch, because we're into that now. That's what we do now. It's very pretty, the packaging. And it's really lightweight, so you're gonna pop into your purse and carry it around. It's a good one to do that. This is Pewter. Okay, the nice little color, it's a grayish tone. Right. Oh yeah, we swatch on our, our hands. Okay, so. Do it. All right, that goes on fairly thick. That's two coats, three coats if you wanted extra. Once again, this is the pewter. Next, we have Stardust. It has more of a rosy tone on it. I'm sorry, my camera isn't focusing on this, but you'll see it when it goes on. And yeah, so more of a pinky hue to it. There's three lines, just like the other one. Rose gold, ooh. More brown tones. I'm guessing they're probably in between these three, so these other two, so let's kind of swatch that. Yeah, more coppery, browner. All three are very shimmery. Look at that. Just moved my lamps a lot closer to you so you guys can get a better view of the colors. And let's apply rose gold. So I do wear lash extensions, so that's not going to change <laughs> any of these products, but I'm going to put on some of this rose gold. Okay, look at that. Oh, maybe let's do a different color for a different eye. And they said to blend it out with your finger. A bit of that highlighter that I put on my lid is still there, so I'm hoping that together really nicely and give me some extra sparkle. Okay. Whew, these lights are blinding. How do these bloggers do it? I don't know. Let's do pewter for a nice contrast. Okay, once again, that was pewter. I'm not doing it too close to my lash line because there is an eyeliner pencil that I want to use after we get this color on. And blend, blend, blend. Another use for the highlighter would have been just underneath my eyebrows, I think, but because my eyebrows aren't better defined, it might be too much makeup for it, but I am a glowing goddess right now. Look at that. Okay. You like that? I do. So easy to put on. I could probably put some on the lower lid. Let's do the stardust on the lower lid. Got a little accent on the back, see? Yeah. Got a bit. I don't know why women make this face when you put on things, put things onto your eye, but it really helps stretches up the muscles, right? Oh, that's really pretty. Whoa! Can you see that? Yeah, under. Under eye sparkle. There you go. And mix and matching them doesn't look too bad too. They're just so complimentary to one another. So if you are very creative and very well versed in makeup, you could probably do like a gradient thing going on in your face. But for now, amateur hours, Maggie. You looking glam, folks? Yeah. Next step: the Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I. 
didn't want to, <laughs> I don't want to use any other products in this vlog, so, which means no corrections. So I'm going to try to eye, like line my eye properly without using any makeup remover to kind of fix edges like I normally do. So I'm going to be a little bit slower with this. Check out the packaging and ooh, nice and sharp. I see them doing this on their vlogs too, so you can actually see the color. Okay, time to line. I'll do it this way so you kind of see my technique. I realize I need both hands. I have double lids, so I gotta kind of go like this to kind of pull my lid up so I can line whatever I'm trying to line. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I already screwed up, but when you get a little bit of a smudgy, just make the line thicker until it smooths out. But as for the way it goes over your lid, it's really smooth. This mirror is not the greatest. I'm doing this on. It's impeding my ability. This is what happens when you get an unprofessional person trying to do a makeup tutorial. So if you don't learn anything and you disagree with my methods, it's on you for watching. <laughs> Cause this is done completely ad-libbed, no training, no practice, and I in no way, shape or form hold myself to the standard of a beauty guru or expert. I'm a regular person. Try not to look too hideous. But if I do, it's my fault because I'm doing my own makeup. All right, look at that badass line. Look at that can't line, no fix overs. Just had to do it twice. Already, you can tell the difference. It really makes my eyes look so much bigger. So let's repeat. This side. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do her out to end this time. Out to end just because the couch and the necessity to put this mirror up on it is impeding me. This side is a lot worse. Oh my gosh. And I'm flaring my lid. I can see how bad it is. Okay, so barely got it to the lash line. It's jutting way out there, so I gotta course correct this guy to fix. Just give me a few minutes. This is going to be turned into a montage. <laughs> okay, they don't quite match, but they don't look that bad. And if I kind of just... Oh, see? Ooh. Now we all good. I am a fan of this eyeliner. It's really nice, really easy to draw with. The tip is super sharp. I'm curious to see how the liner actually wears on throughout the day. So I will be leaving the makeup on and doing a con in conclusion video after just to see if it smudges. Cause that's my biggest thing with my eyeliners and my shadows is that eventually it smudges down and it kind of gives me raccoon rings, which no one wants. And to complete our look, we are going to use their vegan, paraffin free and cruelty free lip gloss. Ooh. This color is in blossom. I'm more partial to darker lip colors like plums and reds only because I don't put a lot of eye shadow or color on my face so I'm able to wear a darker lip but if I'm going to be going out with highlights and eye shadow on I'm definitely going to choose a more muted lip gloss and this might be one that I'd go for. A nice little applicator here. Let's do another swatch. Oh look at that so juicy. Okay gonna use the camera this time as my mirror. Oh, it goes on sticky, like hair up, but really easy to glide on the edges of your lip. 
It's got a bit of gold flakes in it too, which I appreciate, so it kind of catches the light differently. Wow, you can really see my nose highlight. <laughs> Pop! Hmm. Okay. That went on really well. Hmm. All right, your bad self, look at that. I enjoyed doing that. That was fun to play around and paint my face with Evelina's new makeup line. Really nice products, it went on really easily. It kind of just blended in with my skin. I will definitely need a stronger foundation or cover up if I'm going to do this face in full. But the moisturizer was nice. It's still feeling dewy on my skin. It's dried up my pa dry patches here and here. The highlighter is definitely popping. I gotta learn how to do it properly because it's just making my nose look wide now. Maybe do some eyebrow penciling in the future just to match with this black eyeliner lid. There we go. And this lip. Close up, it doesn't look too great, but that's just because of my skill, not the makeup. The makeup was wonderful, super easy to use. And in distance, really style quality. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's my very first beauty vlog. Um, I hope it brought you some smiles. It hopefully made you feel better about your own makeup journey. Oh my God, it's just getting worse. <sighs> As always, please hit the subscribe button for some more food, field, fun, and hijinks. How do you do it? Just how they end the videos. <laughs> I don't mind the messiness of my washroom. It's been a few hours later, I've just lost a lash, but there's no smudging. Everything is as it should be, is as when I applied it. Still looking good from a distance, so. Thumbs up, Evelina Beauty.